feel a mile high When you're on my side High up in the sky Cruising through the night oh. It is my last day in Vietnam And I have diarrhea <laughs> Diarrhea Hello this is Vietnamese pork chop rice. It is the first thing that I ate when I first came back to Vietnam. And it's the last thing that I ate before I leave Vietnam. How cool, how special it is. This is Vietnamese signature drink. In every restaurant that you go to, you can just order this. This is iced tea. They will give it to you, mostly for very cheap or even free. Take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I was supposed to. Nah, nah. I will miss these kids so much. I have nobody that bothers me in the UK. This will be the last home cooked meal that I have with my family on this trip. For the last month, I have lived so comfortably and enjoyed life to the fullest, all thanks to having my mom cook for me. I will miss this so so much. It is time to go. For my last meal before leaving Vietnam, I decided to eat pho, my most comfort food in the city where I grew up in. Food is very accessible. With only a few steps, you can find a new restaurant, a new food vendor. So I was never hungry when I'm here. I will miss plenty of food that I can eat without worrying about the prices. I will miss the delicious Vietnamese cuisines and the streets filled with restaurants so, so much. You want me to say something? I come up with nothing. Baby, <laughs> The first thing that I serve on the plane is low cooked beef with potato. The beef is really good. The moment that you put the beef into your mouth, it melts right away. And the potato is good as well. It balances out the beef. I'm happy about this, so I will give it 9 out of 10. For dessert, they give us a strawberry cake. It is okay, but I think it is good for a dessert that is thousands of miles above the ground. Of course, I finish everything and ready to sleep. Just kidding. I cannot wait for the next meal to come. And this is pork noodles. I like these noodles much better than the beef one. It is quite tasty and I already regret that I didn't eat more noodles when I was in Vietnam. I finished everything including the fruit and the yogurt in like 10 minutes. It is a 10 out of 10 and we finally landed. I can't it. It's so cool. After three hours at security, I'm finally able to take my luggage. I have all of them, so the trip is officially ended. I got all of my luggage, now let's go home. As you guys know, a month ago, I went back to Vietnam to visit my family and friends. We traveled to so many beautiful places and ate so much good food. But now, I'm here, I'm back in London, England. It is a little bit lonely. I live by myself. Well, not really by myself, but with this guy. I think he's eating at the moment, but so many of you guys ask me about him. He just woke up and he's eating at the moment. He doesn't want to be recording. So I'm just back in the same old place with Thiago. We are going to tell you guys what's going on with us later, so please stay tuned. Even though I am a little bit sad to say goodbye to my family and friends to get back to England, I am still very glad to have my routine back. Ever since I got to Vietnam, I constantly travel, met people, and didn't have time for myself. That's why I think that it is very important to me today to spend some time with myself, take myself on a date, to relax, and do things my own pace. You know? So let's go on a date with Nyang. Jago is back to his bed and relaxing. Alright, 
whenever I go out by myself, I don't usually dress up just because I don't really care. But now because I'm taking myself on a date, I have to dress up a little bit. So right here I have my turtleneck and my oversized suit. This is a gift from my grandpa. So my grandpa died and my grandma gave me his suit. This is very special. Okay, looking cute. Now let's go. First of all, I need to get a haircut because I've been back to Vietnam for a whole month. My hands get really long. This is also my grandpa jacket. This time when I went back to Vietnam, my mom got all of my grandpa's clothes and packed for me. So it's really cool. So I'm on the train now. And one thing that I miss about London while I was in Vietnam is that the public transportation in London is very good. When I was in Vietnam, I don't know how to ride a motorcycle, so I cannot go anywhere without asking somebody to drive me. But here, I can go anywhere, jump on a train on the ground. My haircut is in Chinatown, and I'm here already. I just want to find something to eat because the haircut cannot take forever, like two hours, and I haven't had any breakfast. So this is my hair before I perm it again. It is not that bad, I know, but as you can see, it grows out quite a bit. The first thing we're going to do is getting my hair washed. I love this part a lot because usually they're going to give me a massage and I just love the feelings of the fingers going through my hair. This is Penny. Hello. <laughs> she's my hairdresser. <laughs> she said that she's wearing the most beautiful shirt just because I'm recording today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Penny has been cutting my hair for about two years now. I remember that the first thing when the lockdown got lifted was me going to this hair salon and I found Penny. In a way, Penny is my first friend here in London. Because I cannot wait anymore, I was so hungry. I opened the bun and ate it deliciously. It tastes so good. I love shumai pork very much. And then Penny start rolling my hair while I am enjoying the food. I asked for a natural perm she used the big curls so ask for big curls if you want a natural perm and of course I was cheering her on because this takes a lot of time to do you have to do it one by one Penny said that many customers saw her on my videos so I say I will give her the signatures so she can just give the signatures away <laughs> and it's really funny after that Penny applied the moisturizer on my forehead so the chemical would not burn my skin she also wrapped this cotton thing around my head so the chemical won't trip down my face. Just an advice, close your eyes during this process because the gas from the chemical can irritate your eyes a little bit. And after that, she wrapped the plastic thing around my head. I do look like an egg here. It looks so funny. And after that, she put on this machine to heat things up. It feels so hot, so I decided to take out the bean dessert that I bought to eat. This is what it looks like. I didn't expect much from it because it's just canned food, but it is extremely refreshing. I would eat it again, 100%. This is me enjoying the food way faster than I should. I also offer Penny a little bit, <laughs> but she said no. I finished the dessert in like 3 minutes, and I still have 10 more minutes to go under these heaters. It gets a little bit hot, so I'm dancing the heat away. And after that, Penny gave me this snack to try. She told me they are very good. And of course, I ate one right away, all in one bite. It is really, really, really good. I will save the other two later. After that, Penny gave me Milo. This is the first time I've ever seen a canned Milo drink. She's so kind. Oh my god. It tastes delicious and it freshened me up. Here's all the food that I ate. These two are mine and these two are from Penny. I have been eating way too much. And then the perm is ready. I will get my second wash to wash away the chemical. It feels so good and I recommend closing your eyes again during this process because the chemical can be irritating. I've got the towels wrapped around my head and I look so cute. The towel looks like a wig. Penny put on more product to hold the curls. This will help make the curls last longer and I feel very handsome now. After everything is taken out, I look so funny. I got a quick wash with conditioner and a very very good massage. Like after an hour in a heater, my scalp feels really hot so the massage feels extra good. Penny is going to style it a little bit more. She starts trimming the side to make everything look clean and stylish. Penny said that if you ever come to the hair salon, please ask for Penny. <laughs>
and we're going to give it one last watch because I compliment how good the massage was last time. She gives me a very long massage and very good technique. It's so good. <laughs> it feels really good afterward. This is a weird way to describe it, but it feels like my brain melts into her hand. After that, Penny put some hair product as well as blow dry my hair to make it look good. And then the hair is ready. Yay! I'm really happy about it. This is the final look with my jackets on. I love it. Thank you, Penny, very much. And after that, I went to the bookstore to get some more books. I finished all my books already, so right now I'm finding new ones to read. This is the one that I'm going to read next. It is called Atomic Habit. I realized that I haven't read self-help book for a long time. I always read it in school, but ever since I started working, I always read fictions. <laughs> so I think it is a good time to start reading self-help book again because they are very useful. So I'm excited to read. And this is the one that I'm going to read next. I'm not going to even say the title. <laughs> you can read it by yourself. This is a queer book. I just realized that I haven't read queer book before. I've always read it on the internet, but never on a book. So I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, there's always a first for everything, right? So right now, I'm staying with Brandy. I'm staying at Evita house right now, but she's traveling and she told me to watch Brandy. So I'm here with Brandy by myself. And I'm gonna make something for us to eat. I'm going to make ramen, because I'm really hungry. For me, when I don't know what to eat, like today, I'm going to buy random vegetables to eat with ramen. And today, I bought runner beans. I don't know what it is. Runner beans, I've never tried before. It looks like green bean, but it doesn't smell like green beans. It smells a little bit more grass. <laughs> it smells grasser than green beans. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hopefully it will taste good. The food is ready, and also Evita doesn't have any <laughs> chopstick in her house, so I have to eat ramen with fork and spoon. <laughs> I haven't had ramen for a long time. Bon appetit. <sighs> Noodle with the runner beans. With the mushroom. I'm wearing one, two, three layer of clothes. They're not related to each other at all, but it's really cold. So I'm trying not to get sick, okay? Now let's walk Brandy. All right, let's go for a walk, huh? A walk? Let's go. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy my times, my videos in Vietnam. More England vlogs will be coming in the next weeks. Please stay tuned for that. Have a good day. Bye bye.